Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and I have some fun things to share with you today. If you're new, I have a paper crafting channel. I share a lot of junk journals, ephemera, paper crafting type things. I also help sell items for other artists who maybe don't have an Etsy shop and just want to share what they make with the world without having to run a business. It's a passion of mine to help artists and so you see a lot of shares from other artists and things available as well. You can find contact information, website information in the description box below. If you'll take a second and hit subscribe, that really helps me as a channel and give a little thumbs up. Just click the button if you enjoy what I have to share. So I have a couple of things that I've made that I've put into the shop that I thought I'd share with you. And then we have some more March Challenge Marketplace journals. The Marketplace is where I sell journals made by other artists. And every month we have a challenge where I host that and I share which digitals, because I create digitals as well, which digitals um, we're going to work with for the month. These artists get a higher commission on these specific journals. And so we have some from Barb today. And um, yeah, several journals. So hope you're excited about that. But let's get started. I'll show you what I did here first. I have these little ephemera pouches. There's four of them. They're double pockets. These match really well with my birds and bees journal that is available over in the section of my shop called Lindsay's Handmade. It's still available. It is actually on sale right now. So if you pick up one or two of these, you may want to grab that journal because this coordinates with it beautifully and you could use it in there. So you, um, I'll show you how I made this. So I love this. It, I think it's called Craft Warehouse cardstock. I buy it at Tuesday morning. Of course, we can't shop there right now, but I'm eagerly waiting for the day when they open up again when this virus thing is over. But it's high quality cardstock and I get it for a really good deal. And these are the eight by eight sizes. So I made a double torn pocket. So it is four by eight. I did leave the back plane so you could either journal on it or when you put it in a journal, like if you glue it to the back or front of a journal, let me show you, uh, let me pull out my journal so you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is the one that's available for purchase right now. Um, and it's using a lot of the same types of uh, die cuts and images and stuff. But my idea for these is like here in the back. Well, I've already put something in the back, but you could put it in you glue it on there or on a page and so you have the extra ephemera or you use it kind of like a floating bookmark and then it has little pieces of ephemera that you can use these are wonderful for happy mail too if you want to send it to a friend you could take this little bulb pin off um, because it probably wouldn't fit well in an envelope like if you're buying it to stick into one of your journals then that's fine but you could take the bulb pin with the button and bead off use that on another project maybe tie a little piece of string into a bow or just leave the eyelet and then you could put this in an envelope and mail it to a friend you could write a sweet note on the back so lots of ideas but this journal is is still available so I thought I'd mention that I'm not going to flip through it again because I've done that on a recent video but these have um oh this one needs one more piece of ephemera huh. I love when I I'm not love I'm being sarcastic but let me find something to put in here I'll use these little sweet bird washi stickers i guess i must have gotten sidetracked and didn't get that second piece of ephemera in here there we go all right so each one has a little standard issue notepad sheet um i actually have some of these available in the shop under Lindsay's supplies but so you have that little journaling thing and then these little fussy cut pieces are from my porch prints and it's a, her birds and bees I think it's called um but I've printed it on like a cardstock that's like a semi-gloss so these are really nice so each one gets some kind of a bee or wasp and then a uh, some kind of a bird there's a wallpaper tag and then another piece of ephemera and then there's um, washi tape, a little word, and then one of these owls from Creative Fabrica. They're watercolored owls. And I just printed nine to a page 
on cardstock and fussy cut them out, added an eyelet with a button and bead or something like that. So there's that one. Here's this one. I love this piece from the My Porch Prints little bird seed box. So not only are they just pretty to stick into a journal, but you could use all the pieces of ephemera and then re stuff it up with other things. That's always an idea too, is keep the ephemera and stuff it up the way you want and send it off to somebody as a little gift or you could even glue this on the front of a journal. I think that would be really fun too. Stuff it up. There's so many things you can do. So I have four of those available. Um, I also, I made these this morning for fun. And I hope it inspires you too because this is something I don't usually do. This is a little more bright and modern, but I used some of my normal um, colors and vintage -y stuff too. So I had this sheet of puffy stickers, these cute little kids, and then the little hearts. And it's not typically what I do in a junk journal, but I love, love them so much. So I made a whole bunch of snippets. The bigger ones you could put on, like if this is the front of a journal, you could put on the front of a journal, or you could put on the front of a greeting card. You could make it a tuck spot. You could just glue it on the top of a page. The little ones are really cute in corners of pages, bottoms of pages, tuck spots. You can glue it onto a tag. There's so many different things. So I'm going to kind of show you what I've done. I've used all different papers. So some of this is textured cardstock. There's other cardstocks. This is a little handkerchief piece. I've done lavender stitching. And then these are puffy. They're so cute. And I think that they would go well in pretty much, I guess, any eclectic journal or floral journal or children's journal or just sweet journal. Some of them are a little smaller and they have the heart hearts on them. All of them have stitching. Look at that little boy with the overalls. Isn't he so cute? Here, look at him with the hat. Here's a little princess with a teddy bear. I've used a little bit of boho fabric on that one and this one too. I've got little, this one's cute and that one's cute. So there's a lot of them here, but I wanted to use up the sticker sheet. I use, a couple of the stickers um, just really didn't fit with these. So I gave them to my boys to play with, but the rest of them, I just went ahead, used them up, made all of these adorable um, little snippet pieces. There's quite a few. So these are under Lindsay's handmade. I added hot glue to the puffy stickers. Um, that kind of helps them stick a little more. And then in a bag so that they stay together, but you get to reuse the bag as well. Then I was punching out butterflies. This is the Martha Stewart butterfly punch. And each bag has 50 butterflies, all different papers and wallpapers and things like that. So 50 in each bag. Um, I also have two sample prints from vintageimageclub.com. If you haven't heard of my website, vintageimageclub.com, the link is also below. I also have a sale going on right now, a free trial. Uh, you can get a year's access for $10. Um, it is a subscription-based site. You can do a weekly, monthly, yearly, or lifetime. But every week I add at least two new collections, sometimes more. And um, I set them up just like this on easy print sheets. That way you don't have to resize them. You don't have to figure out how to do that. You just save it to your computer and print. And this is exactly how they come out. But I also have them individually. So if you're a little bit more comfortable with a computer and you want to add them to your digitals or you want to print them different sizes, you can do that as well. These are all public domain images that you can use to sell things or to create things. So I have two sample packs. Um, each one has 10. They're printed on cardstock. Um, I think this one's called Fashion Gone By. 
there's this one easy print sheet here. This one is Chickadee and his friends and their little uh, book pages, the East Baltimore Oriole worried his, but oh, worked. Her husband in his orange and black suit whistled, saying to the treetops. But there's little like book pages from this sweet little book and the cover. Isn't that gorgeous? These are like vintage motifs. Oh, so pretty. We have like different vintage painters. These are all, well, I think it's upside down. These are all windmills. Um, so you get these exact ones. This is vintage topography. Uh, vintage bohemian ladies. Look at these florals. Aren't they gorgeous? So you can cut these out. They're ready to go. Um, ready to put in your journals because they're cardstock. 10 pages. I printed them with my, I just got a new laser printer. So I've been playing around with that. Colors are a little bit bolder and brighter, but here's some ferns. This is, oh, kid knocking on the door. Deal with the kid and come back. Have these vintage birds. Oh, this is one of my favorite bird collections I've put together. So pretty. These are, look at these paint. Uh, I don't remember the artist's name, but gorgeous public domain. Antique tree branches. This is from a card playing book. Little nursery rhymes. One misty morning when cloudy was the weather. There's another knock at the door. Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, I was trying to read the nursery rhymes, but you get the idea. These are Walter Crane. More botanicals. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? Vintage uh, plates of all these illustrations. Look at these birds. These are birds from Brazil and Mexico. So I'm always adding more stuff every single week. I hope that you will sign up over there. I hope that you'll enjoy that. Um, a little <laughs> little tip, if you go to, uh, so I have two websites. I have nevermorecreation17.com. That's where you can buy journals. That's where you'll buy these, all of that. And then the Vintage Image Club is just this, di the digitally, just the public domain images digitally. But if you go to nevermorecreation17.com, link is below, there's a section called Huge Sales, and you'll find the Limited Lifetime with a freebie journal. There's only a few of those left available. It's $40, but if you purchase it, you get unlimited access. You can choose this, or you can choose my Created Digitals, my Ultimate Lifetime, but you can choose Vintage Image Club. So in the notes section, you just write Vintage Image Club, and then I send you over the uh, Google Drive folder that has all of these, plus all the new ones will be added to it. Um, you'll get it immediately updated. And I will send you a little freebie journal, free shipping as a thank you, uh, limited on that. So if that sounds like something you would wanna do. This is only a small, I mean, what I've shown you here is just a small percentage of what I have over there on the website and the type of things that I add every single week. So enough about that. <laughs> I also created some two journals. These are Bohemian Beauty and I used my Boho Beauty papers and you can get these on Vintage Image Club. Um, I just thought they were really pretty and this one is actually double printed. I printed the Ink Saver Boho on top of it accidentally but I thought it looked amazing. So these are single signature a wallpaper cover. They're stitched with that lilac lavender thread. They have a little bag on the front, the image, some beautiful trim, a little paper flower. I got these in Happy Mail. I can't remember who sent them to me. Whoever did, thank you so much. I've been using them. I'm almost out. Um, I have to figure out how to make them. They're so amazing. I love them. And then inside here, I put four pieces of ephemera. And then I've been trying to support small businesses during this time. I can't, you know, we can't all do a lot, but we can all do something small. And so if I'm creating something, I'm trying to purchase digitals from some small shops. So I purchased from Mrs. Cogs um, on Etsy, and this was her, um, her gypsy one. And I just made little, I stitched 
some four of the images onto some wallpaper and then you could use these throughout. She has a sale. I think it's still going on right now, but I got her set. I think it was three full pages of these for like a dollar 77. So that was a great price and I wanted to include some of them in here and support a small business. And then um, we have some wallpaper on the inside cover and then using my Boho Beauty paper pack. I offer it digitally or printed. And then on this side, this is my one of my ink savers. This is the Boho ink saver. And it doesn't have a background, the background's white. So you're only just printing a little bit of text and a little bit of color on it. Saves a lot on your printer, so that's available digitally. And then I've done some stenciling, stamping, and I've used, it was a glimmer mist. Um, I don't remember the color, I think it was some kind of a rose. But I've had them for so long. I got them near the beginning of my crafting journey, like three years ago or whatever. And the spray bottle's not even spritzing anymore. So I, I poured it out into one of my little paint palettes. I got a brush and I painted over the stencil to get that effect. And then this is one of my circular stencils and I used peeled paint distress oxide. Have some book pages. See, and this also is a tan 20 pound uh, paper. And then look at the gold glimmer from the Glimmer Mist. And it kind of reacts a little bit with the oxide. It's so beautiful how that came out. So, and look at that, I don't know if you can see that gold shimmering. I have a little mushroom stamp. This is just some um, card stock I had bought at Hobby Lobby. Look at how pretty that is. That's the Distress Oxide with the Glimmer Mist. So these are just meant for you. You could decorate it up if you love boho or maybe you're just more of a writer or you wanna write your to-do lists or whatever. These are not as expensive as a fully embellished journal. I did put obviously some time into the stenciling and all of that, but it's still definitely a reduced price from one of my embellishments. I just love how these pages came out. See the glimmery gold, very boho. So these are in Lindsay's handmade, got some birds. And then this one is very similar. It has four um, different of Mrs. Cog's gypsies. And well, there's gotta still be one in there. I backed it with some of my digital paper. This is from Birds and Bees. I had some left over from my journal. And so I have four of those in the little bag. And you could either write on them, keep them in there, or you could use them to decorate. I inked up that flower a little bit. Isn't she beautiful? Love the wallpaper too. And then I will do a very quick flip through of this since it is very, very similar to the other one slight differences like in the book pages or look at that mm, so pretty oh that okay so for this one I ran out of that rose colored glimmer mist and so I used a distress spray stain I want to say it's the mustard one or something it's that orangey one and it's the Tim Holtz one so I used some of that so it has a little more of an orangey gold for this one. But definitely a lot of room for you to make this your own. So I have those two. And the last thing I have before we move to Barb's gorgeous journals, um, I like to keep these in stock when possible. They're my collaged journal covers and you can, they're in my Lindsay's handmade section. So I've used orange cardstock this time. I think it's bright, I think it's fun. Um, you can obviously cover the inside if you wish. It's pretty easy, you just, you know, cut your paper, glue it on. But I think that maybe stamping, stenciling, adding pockets before you sew in your signature would be great. Obviously, this is all stitched around and it is just an assortment of so many different pages. Um, there's four, you'll get a random one, but there's wallpaper, there's book pages, 
there's copy paper. This is a tan copy paper. There's some glittered paper, uh, book pages. There's digital prints. There's embossed paper. So many pieces. These are so um, relaxing for me to do. There's a little bit of that boho paper down there. Some vintage book paper there. More of that boho paper. So, yeah, I have those. All right, let's get into Barb's journals. All right, so we are using Dancing Dahlias, Strokes of Nature, Bright Soul, Vintage Music, Flower Pages, Caroline, and Music Blooms. Um, if you're interested in the April, April or May challenge uh, coming up, you can go over to my Facebook group. I have that posted. And you can always email me if you need the specifics and you can't find them. All right, so here is the first journal. This is one of the Bright Soul Ephemera pieces. This is called The Song. So this is Music Blooms. And I know we've seen a lot of this kit since I've been showing off these journals, but I love to see in each journal how it is slightly different. So she has Strokes of Nature in here too little ephemera pieces. These are printed. Oh, she, how incredible is that? Did she glue this on the file folder or print it? I think she printed it on the file folder. That's really brilliant. And that's really neat. I need to keep that in mind. Here's a little paint chip pocket. So these are just simple. They're pretty to look at and you can add more things. The ephemera is nice and thick since it's that file folder, but you have little pockets with goodies, some lined paper for journaling and whoop, just a little closure here. I think there's just a lot of room in this journal for you to work in. Really pretty. Okay, so here's a bigger one. I love the um, fabric. Then we have an image on the front, three signatures. This is super, super heavy duty. Barb has gotten, she has improved so much in journal making. Not that she was bad, but I have sold many of her journals and they get a little bit better every time. And I love to see that myself and, and all of my artist friends the more we work on creating, the better we get. And you can just tell how, um, you know, she's working on making her journals sturdy and all of that. Just really great. Some pretty stenciling. I love it when the sewing machines get messy like that. I think it adds so much character. So pretty pages, pretty ephemera. Oh, look at how pretty that is. She sewed fibers right onto that. This is one that would be really fun to work in because there's so many different colors, but there's so much room. You know, this would be great if you had the Vintage Image Club and you could print out a whole bunch of vintage ephemera and then just go to town. There's some more fun. I love those fibers. It must just be different kinds of yarn and stuff. Got some really pretty ephemera pieces in here more fibers. Love it. Oh, and she even collaged the inside back cover. So pretty. Oh, which she did that on the front too. I just didn't notice because I was busy opening it up. So this one is really pretty. It says paint your life on the front. That's one of the ephemera pieces from Strokes of Nature that I created. I love the fabric on this feels so great. So let's see. Just a sweet little cluster on the front. I think it is simple and understated and truly beautiful. You could add an image or something there if you wanted, but I think it's just so pretty that way. This is a corduroy, corduroy journal, and then it is lined with a textured cardstock. So that really um, reinforces it. 
I love the extra stitching. Really pretty. So some of the bright soul ephemera. Really cute. Love it. Just so bright and happy looking. That's a single signature. A lot of these are single signature. Really pretty. This is from Strokes of Nature. This is from Bright Soul. Then we just have a card stock. Just, I love a simple ribbon. So we have a simple pink ribbon. This is called Song. And then using the same digitals, it's very similar. These are ephemera pieces from Bright Soul. This, these are very well made. You can feel how sturdy they are. Really, really fun. I love the colors on this one. Makes me happy. And then this is fabric covered. So it's fabric, fabric, and then this is an ephemera piece from Music Blooms. It's a mom teaching her two little daughters musical instruments. It's called Floral Music reinforced with a file folder. And then it has like the little um, ephemera pieces. These are Music Blooms ephemera pieces, the little fabric ribbon. Really pretty. Just tie that back up and scoot it over. Here's another one. I love this one too. So this is another fabric covered. Love these fibers. So pretty. Little cluster. This is from Music Blooms. It's one of the ephemera pieces. Um, it says Song. I might have to change the names on some of them. I think she may have named more than one of them Song. I guess we can do Song 1, Song 2. That'll work. Music Blooms in Our Souls. It's just Music Blooms. And other strokes of nature and bright soul. I think those are the main ones that she's used for these. Cause it's only a requirement that you use three of the five digitals that I suggest or that I not suggest, it's not a suggestion, but <laughs> that I uh, lay out for the month. So here's a two signature journal. Sorry, silk closure. It says music. There's another, let's paint your life on the cover. And then this one's called Create. Some pretty little tuck spots, ephemera, places to use your stencils, your stamps. And there's a little ephemera in there as well. And then we have one more. I think it's a really pretty journal. I don't think it's actually a March challenge journal. I think it's just a regular marketplace journal that she sent along with it, but I figured I'd show it. Why not? So here it is. Three signatures. It is a book cover that's been repurposed. Really pretty co cover, color, the vintage image here on the front. Um, it's called Ladies in Nature. So I don't think this is a March challenge journal, but she's using a bunch of my images. This is Wisteria and Roses, Farmhouse Daisies, Work Basket Moths, Vintage Image Club Walter Crane, and that's all just on the first page. This is the um, Ink Saver, uh, William Morris. So I don't, this is um, another one of mine. Anyway, I'm trying to see if this is a March challenge because I don't see those digitals. Um, I'll keep my eye out. But lots of my digitals that she's used throughout. Very pretty. This is My Fair Garden. What She Wore. Work Basket Moths, Wisteria and Roses. This is very pretty. So if you purchase my Ultimate Lifetime Collection, 
you get access to all of these that I've created, plus anything new that I create gets added in there. So check out the huge sales section of my website if you are interested in that. This is just really pretty. So this is just a regular marketplace journal. Um, it's not a challenge journal, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm curious about this. Oh, look at that. Love that. Collaged up, altered paper clip. So pretty, Barb. Look at her clusters and collaging. This is Joanne's. This is pretty florals. Joanne and I are going to collaborate on some digitals. We both purchased uh, the same base um, paper first layer graphics uh, from the same shop. And we're going to create different things with it, but they're going to coordinate. So eh, it may take us a few weeks to get that all done and up and everything, but it'll be exciting and I won't, um, can't wait to share that with you. This is my Ink Saver Outdoor Birds. Um, she printed it on a cream colored paper, but you can print it on any color paper you want. It's these numbers and then these birds. There's no background, so you're not wasting that ink. That's a line of digitals I have. I have, I think, three different ones available right now, but I will definitely be creating more of those. As busy as I have been lately with having the boys home and trying to get them, get their schoolwork done and all of that, I have not been creating digitals as much. I've been focusing more on just the running my shop and getting things in the shop, but can't wait to have a little bit extra breathe time to create some digitals, maybe this weekend. Today's Friday, it's Good Friday, and um, Saturday and Sunday I will be taking off, unless I create digitals, <laughs> and I'll be back Monday. So that's everything for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. You can find all these items that I mentioned over on NevermoreCreation17.com, and then the Vintage Image Club is VintageImageClub.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see all of you in the next video. I hope you have an amazing Easter weekend and you, you find something to be grateful for, thankful for, and remember that we are alive and we have creativity and love. And if we have those things, then we're never truly quarantined. We, our creativity can still express itself even if we can't go out and do all the things we want.